Hello everyone, welcome to this Blender tutorial. This is the third part and the last part in my series on creating a futuristic HUD in Blender. In this part we are going to create a fake lighting effect that makes it look like the HUD is casting some blue light on the actor's face. To do this, let's change into the note editor in Blender. Okay, we can see what we have so far right here. We have the grid, um, the grid is here, that's moving and we've combined it with a bokeh blur to make it look like it has some defocus effect on it. We have these rings that actually get the defocus node for this effect. And we alpha over that over the video footage of our actor. To get a blue tint to the actor that has a look of light, we add a mix node and set it to, let me maximize the screen, let's set it to soft light. And now, if we input our footage of our actor and change this to blue, it looks like, <coughs> like there is some blue light on his face. But of course, we don't want it all over his face. I mean, we could see how this looks like, but... That's not too good. So we are going to mask out some parts of his face where we want the light to be, or not to be, to be more exact. To do this, we could change to the video clip editor and use the masking tool, but for a very simple elliptical mask, there's actually under matte nodes, we can insert an ellipse mask or a box mask is we wanted that but I'll use the ellipse mask and you can see here it overlays this um, this box over the image to indicate where our ellipse will be if I select it we can see what the ellipse will look like and we can rotate it we make it bigger, smaller and now we adjust the size of this ellipse to roughly match his face and by the way if you drag around these sliders if you press shift you can make much more precise ad adjustments to what you are doing increase the width and move it down let's say like this and let's see how that looks if we use this, uh, this as the factor input of the soft light node we can see what happens we only get this part of his face blue that's not what we want. I mean, of course, if we wanted to have a blue shimmer on part of his face, maybe I've done something uh, similar to that with a green shine on his face in the final product that I've uh, shown in the introduction to this video. So you could use this, but of course you would want to blur it. So I'll add a blur filter, fast Gaussian, and let's say 30 pixels 
And with this, we could have blue casting on part of his face. Let me jump through the timeline to see how this matches up. We can see only his one cheek gets always affected by light and when he turns his head he moves more into the light or out of it depending how he's moving. But back to the first frame and back to the center. As I said I want the um, I want the blue light to be on the outer edges of his face so I will adjust my ellipse to that maybe move it down a bit and now if I use a color invert node I get this result and his face has a blue shimmer on the edges and only the center is completely normal colors. And if he turns his head to one side it looks like he's moving more into this blue light or out of it depending on where his head turns at the moment. And I think that's a pretty nice effect. Of course don't forget to then actually input the soft light into the final alpha over to get our effect um, and connect it to the compositor. And with that done, we could preview it. We could get a RAM preview in the video sequence editor, as I've done in the last tutorial to see how it's moving and coming along. And that's about all for lighting or fake lighting with the compositor in Blender. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something um, see you next time and goodbye.